Hello folks. This video is for the techies out there. You know, I'm not very good with some of those controllers, and especially not with the iPhone controller, because I can't feel the sticks. But I was crashing this thing every single flight, thinking my thumb was just not big enough to slide the throttle up and down instantly. And if you let go of that throttle stick on the phone, good luck trying to find it again. But I didn't think I could be that bad, and I started to investigate. And you're not going to believe what I found. But first, here is the intro to the three new models I bought from Common Sense RC. Each is unique, and each has its pros and cons. And you followers of me know I try to be fair and balanced when I do reviews on the products I buy. I hope to give you insight that will help you decide to buy something, knowing the good and bad about them. Well, here's a good thing. Common Sense asked me to help with the marketing survey. So if you buy any of these products from them, you can use the product code NIGHTFLYER1. You're going to get a discount, and that's always good. So here we go with the iPhone helicopter first. Hello, everybody. Well, you know, I've been buying stuff from Common Sense RC for quite a few years now, and I wound up deciding to order a couple of batteries from them for my uh, DJI Phantom, okay? Uh, and when I got to their website, I saw they had a couple things that I thought I might want besides that. One of them, especially, is this Common Sense RC adapter. I mean, this thing is definitely something else. This is perfect for what I need. I have so many different kinds of batteries to charge. It's got all of them. Okay, so when I saw that, I had to have that, okay? And then I'm looking down the website a little further, and what do I see? I see an airship. Look at this. We're going to get that out, and I'm going to show you. This is an airship. Now, the deal is, I, I already have a couple of flying balls, you know, and they're okay, but uh, they're kind of hard to tell the front. I decided I was going to get this airship and see how this works. So, uh, I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, this is really great. And then, what do I see? I see the smallest iPhone powered helicopter in the world. Okay, I gotta have it. Because uh, I already bought this piece of junk right here, and I was gonna do a video on it. It's absolutely a joke. It's a half hour behind with the iPhone, and it barely flies at all. But I'm gonna find out because Common Sense RC's got some good reputation, and we're gonna see how, how well this works. But then what really got my attention behind, besides this was the Scorpion. A scorpion. Can't wait to get this out and try it. The propellers on the top and bottom. There are six motors. Six motors. I mean, <laughs> I can't wait to see how well this is going to fly. I'm going to do these reviews one by one. We're going to start today with a little micro helicopter. Okay, here's what you get is the uh, micro helicopter, which is just absolutely beautiful and tiny, a charger, USB charger for the uh, uh, helicopter, and your plug in transmitter uh, transponder for the iPhone, which will send infrared signal through here, and your manual. Let's go ahead and charge it up, download the app, see what happens. Huh, I just can't seem to run the throttle stick. You know, but when I look down at my transmitter, it's right there. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Here's what's happening. I'm flying along, running my throttle up and down. No problem, right? But if I tilt it slightly, 
throttle goes away and then it's backwards. Even in motion control mode, if you go too far, the screen flips and your throttle is no longer under your thumb. So see, all of a sudden I'm flying, I'm having all this problem, but when I look at the transmitter, look at it, well, it's right. <laughs> I start flying and it goes like this. This is not good. So, easy fix. Here's see, when I'm flying my regular airplanes, my transmitter's kind of aimed down, not up. And uh, every time I would look down, the thumb was right, but every time I was flying, the whole thing would just flip. You know, you Wii guys and iPhone guys probably knew that this was what was going on anyway, but it wasn't in the directions, and I'm new to this sort of thing, uh, but you techies have got it figured out already. So it's real easy to change that auto flip. First of all, uh, I'll show you on the iPhone 4. What you want to do is double click your uh, taskbar, and then down here at the bottom, you want to scroll until you find the uh, thing that looks like an arrow right there. And uh, if you click that, it locks. It won't stay on, okay? And you want to have your volume all the way up. Let's try it now. Yeah, now we're talking. Even in, especially in the, when you have it in this mode. So you see this will tilt now and I can tilt it. Let's try that. Okay, we're gonna go with motion control here. So let's see how well I can do this. Throttle. While I'm playing with this, I'm seeing some vibration and some slop in the seesaw hinge on the top rotor blade. So I put a small thin washer in each side to remove that slop. Yeah, that's perfect. No slop in that uh, blade at all. Now that's perfect. Let's see how it goes. Oh man, that is, that is so much smoother now. Let's try it. That's a lot smoother. Okay, folks, here's the, my opinion on this little helicopter. First of all, it's beautiful. It's cute. It's got a metal little body. Uh, tail rotor's great. It's got lots of power. It uh, doesn't require any trim to fly it at all. But flying using virtual sticks that I can't feel probably will improve with practice as any model. It takes a knack for sure. And you, we guys will probably have this down in no time. Also, by accident I shut the program down while I was flying when I inadvertently pushed the clear button on the front of the phone and he the flying. <laughs> the whole app went away. Hate that. But again, I'm not used to flying this way as a stick pincher pilot myself. Also note this helicopter is infrared controlled. So, sometimes fluorescent lights or bright outside light will affect the performance. The RC app for me is difficult. I had uh, trouble keeping my thumb on the virtual throttle stick. I'd like to see it made bigger for this one. Well, make sure you take a USB charger with you because you're going to want to pull this out and fly it for sure. Well, I give this helicopter five stars out of five, but I give the app only a three, and that's because I think the button should be bigger for the throttle. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Next is the RC airship followed by the tricopter with six motors. Please stay tuned.